Well, we're getting ready to head out, go for a beach walk. I've spent the last two, four or five hours doing videos and making posts, stuff like that. It's time for a break. So we're gonna head down to the beach, do our walk, still too windy. I've also got a lot to do. Uh, I've got to do a lot of planning. I've got a big photo shoot uh, down towards Lighthouse Point on Tuesday unless something changes and I've got a lot of logistics to figure out with that because it's with the tour group the tour group people aren't actually they're part of it but they're not like extras so I can't exactly be telling them what to do so I'm gonna figure out how I'm going to make the whole thing work so that it comes out reasonably well very well excellent Okay, yeah, funky here. Funky here is because we just spent the last three hours walking down the beach, which was great because we'd go a little way, we'd meet somebody, we met, uh, and we've seen them before, uh, Dave and Michelle, then we met some other people that uh, I've contacted who watch the videos here uh, from Florida, um, and I think there's 14 of them. Help them with directions to Lighthouse Point. Um, oh, uh, Jorge, if you have any troubles, just let me know when you're here. And then we met some other people, so it was like, meet this one, meet that one, meet this one, and it's all good. I mean, that's helping people, and hopefully uh, they enjoy it, they come back, and... God, my hair looks funky, huh? Name of a survey. That's interesting. It was just a uh, one of those GPS survey things sitting over by the sign to uh, welcome to Cupid's Key. I saw one the other day towards the airport. I wonder who's doing this survey. What are they surveying? Who wants to know about these places? <laughs> Very suspicious. See that? got to be a joke. Nobody in their right mind would stay on the key in a hurricane. The water comes up that side you're looking at and flows over to the harbor side in a bad hurricane. There's no way. It's got to be a joke. All right, I got to go down to the shop to get ice cream. Diet Coke and tonic. Three things. Hello. Want to be on TV? Hey. <laughs> There's the man. Dating, uh. 
Okay, let's see. Sid sent me for... Dwayne, you want to see if there's vanilla ice cream in there before I forget my list? Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Pull me out one of those if you got it. This guy don't want the Huh? Yeah! You thought I was joking? <laughs> okay. Now I need... I see this thing before. It's in the first time. Yes. You were on the other day. No, I mean, that phone, the way I see it, I see it before. <laughs> you know, uh, people send me a video back with it, no. Hey, no Diet Coke? No. no. Uh-oh. That's Coke Zero. You, you're going to make me make a trip into town. Because <laughs> if I come home without the three things, she's going to send me into town. You really going to do that to me? <laughs> okay, partial success. I gotta go to uh, Ronnie's. Every place else is closed and I need that Diet Coke. Okay, one more time. Gotta go down to Ronnie's now. Ronnie's the only place open that would have uh, Diet Coke. Okay, here's the other one. Hey, it doesn't match your glasses. <laughs> no Diet Coke. Everybody has regular Coke, but no Diet Coke. Uh, I should have gone out earlier, I guess. Well, Here's a fun fact you might not know. One, um, Luther Supply closes at 3 o'clock on Sunday unless they've changed and every, nobody knows, but usually everybody knows around here. Um, two, um, regular Coca-Cola is actually called Coke syrup. I can see that, but now you know. So if you go in and say, can I have a Coke, uh, they're going to think, uh, you mean a Coke syrup? Okay, Sid just told me, you can buy a Diet Coke on Cupid's Key. Um, the only place is Bristol's. So we would have to call, you want to call Charlene or Gloria, see if they'll open up the shop. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> brother and I guess she's not in the sharing mood yeah she's making little noises like you stay away my food and gave me my food <laughs> Had some friends over for dinner. Uh, we thought it was good. We had chicken kebabs. Went wonderful. Good conversation. Uh, they brought us over a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes. I have to figure out what to do with those. We will. Uh, and then tomorrow I have a big meeting. I have to talk to somebody about branding because they need to work on their branding to get their consistent message across and so far that hasn't been going so well for them. So we'll see how tomorrow goes.